All right, let's see what the cats are about. Why is Rosaria there? Oh, looks like Margaret is talking with those two people over there. Wait, is that Rosaria? Huh, she's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. I think she's also here with play to play with some cat. Why would Rosaria play with the cats, though? I don't know, that doesn't fit her vibe. Say no more, Valerina. Valerina, okay. I'll continue okay. to help you out just as Victoria requested. Victoria? Where are all these people? Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. Okay, so she is taking care of the cats. That doesn't solve our biggest problem, though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us... Oh, the cats have anxiety. They like me for real, for real. Okay. They're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. Oh, they like me for real, for real. Just opened, and the furball fortress is already about to go under. Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. You're just like the cats. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. And I shall be the deus ex machina. I will help the cats, even though I'm very allergic to them. Hi, Rosaria. And hello to you, too, Miss Adventurer. Sounds like you're all really worried about something. Our cat saviors, they've appeared already. Uh, okay, saviors is something, but... Okay. Uh, saviors? Uh, seems a bit sudden, considering we just met. I smell a commission coming. I'll try to keep it short. My name's Valerina, and I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. Valerina sounds a lot like Julia Goo. But I don't know if this is the same voice actor. I thought it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win. The sisters over at the church heard about my plans and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. I just accepted the assignment from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine or the spare time to help. It what do you mean the only one with knowledge of medicine? Isn't Barbara literally a healer? Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? Paimon, we cannot be donating Mora. We are so poor. <laughs> no, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures. They've all been settled. Imagine needing Mora. Listen, some of us are poor, okay? The main problem is, um, the cats. They, uh, keep swatting at me. Oh! They don't like you. They don't like your vibe. Okay. I, now I don't trust Valerina. If the cats don't trust you, I don't trust you, okay? If an animal does not like your vibe and you fail the vibe check... You fail my vibe check, okay? They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. Because they don't trust you yet. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. Okay, that I understand. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. Because... Rosaria. Your vibe? Of course the cats are going to be scared of you. Oh, Paimon has heard something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Huh. A kind-hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Hmm. Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't able to offer a solution to our problem. She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. Oh no, am I suddenly going to help? She did give us one piece of advice, though. To enlist the help of the honorary knight and their trusty helper in white. Oh, that's a reference to last quest, wasn't it? From the potion event? We had just wrapped up our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself. Wow, I am Deus Ex Machina. Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. That's true, because he's allergic. That aside, We've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation. It's perfect timing, though, no? We were just talking about playing with cats. Well, that's 
true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just fine. Like, that's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line. Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. I love that Rosaria is like, I do not want to be doing extra work. Just leave everything to her. This is not my problem. And honestly, you're so right for that, Rosaria, as you should. Hmm. If you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part, this errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church activities in any case. Ah, so that's why you agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duty. Listen, I think like almost everyone in Mondstadt so far has placed their stuff onto us. And you know what? They're valid for that. Well, I guess I should show you around first. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. Furball Fortress is a name. Go to the Furball Fortress. Is it inside? Where is it? Hold on. Is this a whole different area? Oh, why are you over there? Now there's two cat icons in Mondstadt. For right now, at least. <gasps> Where are the kitties? Is it... That's Don Winery. Nami automatically trying to go to the Don Winery. Is it he here? Oh! Okay! Random room here! Oh! Oh, it's like... Empty. It's so empty in here. Oh, it's just a regular house. Oh, gotta say, Paimon was expecting something a little bigger with Fortress in the name and everything. Girly pup, in this economy, we're lucky to even get a house, okay? This was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's a plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the Cat's Tail-inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million mora. A few million mora? I didn't know you were rolling in dough like that. Of course. Not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit, they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. I'll probably have to think of a different name. Huh, maybe the... Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. That is true. Huh? Look over there! That cat is staring <gasps> at us. Hello, kitty? Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us forever to track her down again. I feel like it's because you're new to her, and of course she's not going to trust you if you try to put her in water. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh fallen snow. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Snowball? Tofu would be a good fit or pudding. Like almond tofu? I like almond tofu! Oh, but her Ooh, eyes are white, like ice, traveler. or blue, but like ice. Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. Okay, Paimon. Here, kitty, kitty. That's it, Snowball. Good kitty. That's a good kitty. Paimon interacting with the cats is so cute. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. They called her <gasps> Yuki Daifuku. That's so cute. I love Daifuku. Oh my god. As a person who hasn't had tried tofu, what's the texture like? It's very soft. It's not... If you don't like texture, then it's not a good thing if you don't like texture. It's very soft, squishy, a little bit slippery, you know? It, it's been, what, a minute? And you already got the cat to listen to you. Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker. You really are a cat whisperer. Ah, that was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. First things first, though. You gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Mm-hmm. Um, how should Paimon put it? This 
Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions. What facial expressions does Rosaria even have, though? I don't trust Paimon talking with cats, but she did so well with them. These poor creatures. Picked up off the streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. Ooh, and knowing Rosaria's backstory, that she was like kind of picked up from the church after like being a part of a group of treasure hoarders. I think it hits a little bit too close to home for her. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. But she appreciate that. Hey, Snowball is snuggling up to Rosaria. Oh! Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. Did Rosaria just smile? Shocking. I saw it too. We should pretend like we didn't see anything so she keeps doing it. No matter. There are more important things to focus on. Like? Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. All right, bye, Rosaria. Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. And you too, oh great cat whisperer. We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress, and I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem, just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time. Why is Paimon giving like a dissertation on cats right now? I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase. So the more I can learn at this stage, the better. Okay. You must take various requirements into consideration when setting up your fluffy feline home. There are three attributes in this event. Comfiness, durability, and aesthetics. You're required to select one suitable furnishing of each type in such a way that the overall area fits the three attribute requirements exactly. No more, no less. Oh, not even no more? I'm sad. The icon of the furnishing's primary attribute will be displayed in the upper left corner in the interface. In addition to the main attribute, it will also provide a small amount of other attributes. There's only one unique combination of furnishing that furnishes the attributes needed to complete the challenge. That is a sentence that I just read. The furnishings that comprise the combination have the appearances that best complement each other the best. That was also a sentence. After you've completed your fluffy feline home setup, you can place food into your cat bowl to be acknowledged by them. After you fed a cat, you can call the corresponding cat to the throne of Meower or invite it to play directly. That's so cute. The throne of Meower is crazy. He is ready. Ne oh, you don't speak after this. Honorary Knight, Cat Whisperer Paimon, are you too tired? Would you like something to eat or drink? Or perhaps a massage to relax your mind? We provide massages in cat cafes now? No worries, we know you're busy. Not as busy as you, I expect. Why I should watch the two of you work more, if anything. Okay, can I pet? <gasps> oh, Snowball is so cute. Oh, I have to decorate this. Okay, cannot use in current state. Why? <gasps> Decorations. Okay. So I have to make this exact. Okay, aesthetics I don't need too much of. Oh, but this is too much. So this one. Oh, this combination is not good, huh? They probably want you to do from top to bottom, so... We need way more durability. This one's right, but the other ones aren't right. There you go. Wait, it's not too bad. Cryonment meant you'll automatically exit. Okay. 
This event made me so happy. I was in love. I'm so excited. I love that we get to spend some time with the cats. You ugga bugga this? I'm allergic to cats. Me too. This is the only cats uh, that I can actually pet. <gasps> you may play with the cat after feeding it any kind of tooth. Well, you can have my 917 fish. There you, there you go. Take it. Have fun. A snow white ball of pure white cotton. <gasps> Hi, snowball. You want to play? You can select the cat from the throne of Meower or directly invite a cat to come and play. The cat's friendship levels are as follows. Trusted, cherished, and inseparable. <laughs> Eight points where you can pet the cat are in the right ear, left ear, face, lower, up, lower body, upper body, tail, right paw, and left paw. Different cats will have their own preferences for where they wish to be petted. That is true. Some cats prefer butt pats and some cats do not prefer butt pats. Press in order to pet the cat. If you pet right where the cat likes it, the friendliness will increase. But this value will remain the same or even decrease should you pet a spot that displeases the feline. Okay. Repeating petting the same part of the cat will cause friendliness to increase by less and less. Oh, uh, okay. So you can't just keep petting the same area until it no longer increases at all. As such, you must adjust your approach and pet the cat in different spots. After you've switched up the places you are petting it in a certain number of times, this cat's rate of friendliness increase will reset across all the body parts it likes to be petted. Okay. Why am I being mansplained how to pet a cat? It's crazy. Once a cat's friendship level has increased to the next stage, areas where it did not enjoy being petted may change and may now permit you to pet it in new places. Using your keen observation will get along with them now. <gasps> Key! Oh, hi. Let's try methodical. Okay, you do not like that one. You like this? No. Okay, so you do not like the ears. Okay, we pet face. <gasps> you like the face. Oh, good cat. Oh, look at you. Oh, you like that one. Okay. Leggies? Leggy. <gasps> you enjoyed leggies? Okay, what about this leggy? <gasps> you enjoyed that one too? Okay, okay. Back? Back petties? <gasps> you enjoy back petties? What about leg? This leg petty. Butt pats? <gasps> Tummy pat! What about tail pat? You did not like tail pat. Okay, no tail pat for you. No tail pat. What about butt pat? <gasps> you enjoy butt pat? Okay. I'm just gonna... <gasps> you reach cherished friendship level. You may claim the rewards now. No, I'm gonna keep putting your cut. Do you like ears now? <gasps> you do like the ears now! Oh! <laughs> You're so cute. I'm gonna pet you everywhere. Give you many, many pets. You deserve all the pets. Yes. Do you think? Oh, you still don't like tail. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The biscuits. We're just making biscuits. Oh, nothing. Okay. No. You want different pets? <gasps> you want face pets? Okay, I give you face pets. Oh, inseparable. Yay! Bye. A joyful session spent. Mona! Girly Pop, you don't even go here! What are you doing here? Oh, this is not voiced? Okay. Me... Meow? Is this really how cats greet one another? I wonder if my pronunciation's on point. Meow! Looks like Snowball didn't understand even a whisker! Mona, are you trying to speak cat? Professor Magistus. That is not how you pronounce it. Try roaring at it like rar xd. Hey! Rar sounds more like a trick like lions or tigers. That's a good way to frighten a kitty and turn it into a scaredy cat. T Traveler, Paimon, so the rumors are true. You really are working on the Furball Fortress. Working properly isn't the right word. We're helping Valerina and Rosaria out, so it's more like consultants. Yeah, that's it. Being called a consultant sounds really impressive. It's almost like we stole this role from Zhongli. By the way, great astrologer Mona, are you looking to adopt a cat to assist you in your astronomical observations? Based on my understanding of astrology, it shouldn't be too hard to teach a cat to read various aspects of the stars. I might even teach one to help me write manuscripts. I don't know about that, buddy. Steal a peek at Snowball. Boldly stare straight at Snowball. Meow. Ahem. 
<laughs> On second thought, maybe not. One who can already read the stars but is ill-versed at stringing words together would not suffice to convey my illuminating insights. If I really needed an assistant, it would be better to just take a trip to Fontaine and recruit some more staff members from the Steambird, or find a Melazine who can use a typewriter and bring them back to Vonstead. I don't think the Melazine would be very happy about that. Were I really to adopt a cat, at most it'd be to play with it for a bit, to relax and relieve the stress of the exhaustion of the academic inquiry. One mustn't be a bad owner. When you get tired, it would be the best if the cat was tired enough for a cat nap as well. Before I set foot in here, I never imagined hanging out with cats would be such a joy. Ah, how wonderful life would be if we could always be happy like this. Ah, uh, looks like you're going to be a real conscientious owner. Guess this cat's gonna be in fine hands. But I've also heard that some cats can be quite rambunctious, always jumping around, biting and clawing at the furniture. Imagine my manuscripts are astrological tomes ruined by feline canines. That'd be troublesome indeed. Making a snack out of precious books, pilots can barely imagine something so terrifying. Snowball looks quite well behaved. It seems not to comprehend my meaning. Perhaps we lack that special connection. So I would like to observe a bit more, you know, keep an eye out for the obedient cats. Oh, and I must calculate the cost of a cat bed, cat food, and other expenses. Not too luxurious, but also not too shabby. Wouldn't do to submit the cat to hardship. It's okay, take your time. There are many more furry felines in this fortress. Yeah, Ballerina said that she'll adopt even more strays in the future. So even if no cats catch your eye today, you can always come back often to play and have a look! So is Mona just gonna stay there? Oh, Rosaria, do you say anything? Hmm, not playing with the cats? Or do you not have takeout order for me to take care of? Oh. Uh, what cat do you like the most? Pilot's curious too! Have you ever found a cat you do like to get close to or want to get take care of? That's rather sudden, but I suppose it's natural for the people to be curious about things like that. I would say... no. Wow! That was quick! I knew it! Different people have their own definitions of the word like. To me, right now there's no living between for objects I think of in those terms. That said, it's about the same things I dislike. My willingness to care about these cats, to spend time on them, is because it's my job. Or should I say it's a problem before me that requires little effort on my part to solve, so why not? If nothing else, this job's presenting me with some pleasant surprises. I'd consider that good enough. Uh, Paimon didn't really get that, but it sounds positive. Uh, no worries, Paimon. I'll understand Rosario for the both of us. Don't overthink it. Life's like a placid lake most of the time. You just need to get used to it. We can't. I'm sure someone of your ability can change all you see before you. That is a sentence. I don't... Hmm. That's an interesting way to say that. Good luck either way. That's an interesting sentence. Okay, so there's three now on the top. Aesthetic. We unga and then we bunga. And then we figure think That's too much. We unga and then we bunga. This was too much. Do, 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 do. There we go. We unga and then we bunga. I'm not even seeing what this is. Who's gonna randomly appear? Oh, wait, no, we have to pet the cat. <gasps> what cat is gonna be there? Gray and white agile cat. <gasps> Hello, what's your name? Okay, let's try ears. <gasps> you like ear pads. Okay, what about this ear? <gasps> you also like that ear. Okay, okay, okay. What about face? You do like face pads. Okay, what about body pad? <gasps> you do like that one too. Okay. Leggies? Did you like... Oh, you don't like leggy. Okay, what about this leggy? You also don't like that leggy. I'm sorry. Okay, butt pad. <gasps> You'd like butt pads. Okay. Tail pat? No, you don't like that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna mainly pet your face. Squish, squish, pet face. 
Yes, I'm ungabunging the petting. But look at you, so cute. <gasps> ah, look at you. Okay, I'm gonna keep petting you. Do you like leggies now, or is that still no? No, you still don't like leggies. Okay, what about tail? <gasps> you like tail? What about butt pads? You still like butt pads. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, no more face. Butt pat. I give you butt pat. More butt pat. More tail pat. More this part pat. This one? Okay, what about ears? There we go. <gasps> ah, they're so cute. Bye. Joyful session playing with... <gasps> Amber? What's Amber doing here? <laughs> she's, she's just immediately going is crazy. Meow, 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 meow. 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 Meow! Meow! Aw, its name is Bunny! Huh! Both Bunny and Amber have a point! I didn't understand that. Oh, so that's it! A most absurd observation. Actually, Paimon doesn't really get it either, but she can tell that Amber and Bunny have reached an understanding. Traveler! Paimon, you're here! I was just thinking about going to look for you! I've already heard about how you're helping Ballerina with the Furbo Fortress. That's the Traveler and Paimon for you. The second you're back in Mondstadt, you're already being such a huge help. I, the Honorary Knight, will fulfill my mission no matter its nature. Speaking of which, what were you and Bunny discussing just now? You seem to be having a really fun conversation. Wow! 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 I was just asking Bunny about the weather and whether or not it would rain. Huh? Do cats know that sort of thing? <laughs> Lisa said something about that. According to a book she read, cats are very sensitive to humidity and don't like the feeling of being wet. So if they notice a sudden increase of humidity, they'll start nervously pawing at their face and licking their fur. Once a cat does something like that, it's a sign that a large rainstorm is likely on its way. Oh, Paimon had no idea! That's so cool! Guess we learned something amazing by accident. In that case, Traveler, let's pay more attention to cats during our travels. That way we won't keep getting soaked by huge downpours from those big black clouds. I suppose we'll have to pay more attention going forward. Originally, I came here to ask Valerina about something. But just as I was talking to her, this little kitty snuggled up close to me and yawned so loudly. It was just too cute. Since she was so affectionate towards me, then, well, I need to show her how friendly I am too. That's when I remember what Lisa told me. I went ahead and asked Bunny about the weather. But she responded by rubbing her face, then wagging her tail, and then lying on the ground snuggling against my hand. Huh? So it's actually going to rain or not over the next few days. Poor Amber, she is struggling. Okay. We need a lot of comfy. Need more durability. This is too much durability. Too much aesthetic. I like this area. It has a little cat tower. That's cute. <gasps> Which cat is this one? Here you go. You're not sure what happened, but a small smoky. <gasps> oh! Oh, I love each eyes. Oh, you're so cute. Do you like head pat? No, you do not like head pat. Okay, okay. You like face pat? You do enjoy a nice little face pat. Let me see. Body pats, butt pats. Okay, butt pat. No butt pat. Okay, 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 okay. No butt pat for you. Leggy pat. You do enjoy a leggy pat. What about tail pat? <gasps> you like the tail pads! Hold on, I'm gonna... Okay, so face, leggies. Face, leggies, and tail. We do face, leggies, and tail. we so cute! Hi! Yes, make your biscuits. Make all your biscuits, buddy. There we go. More? Do you now enjoy butt pads? You now enjoy butt pads! 
We're almost there. We're almost there. Tail pack. <gasps> oh, there we go. Bye! Joyful sessions. <gasps> Razor, what are you doing here? What? Why did you show up for us event? I love that Razor's just staring at staring at him. It's you. Me. I am talking. Talking? Razor, are you talking to Dustball? It seems like Dustball is trying to say... That's right? A familiar scent. Looking for friends. It is good. Happy. Friends followed the scent. You came too. Happy. On your body. The smell of wind and rain. Very familiar. The scent of cats. Also familiar. Paimon. Very sweet scent. Smell good. Ah! Sweet! Could that be the flavor of pancakes Valerina gave us? Did Paimon eat that many? I gave you half of my portion, remember? has brought me lots of nuts. What? And meat boxes. I am very full. Sounds like Ballerina ordered delivery then. Did Dustbog deliver the food to you, Razor? <coughs> Paimon never imagined the cats would actually end up taking care of all the customers here at Fernball Fortress. Looks like you really are the cat's meow, huh, Razor? Oh, that's cute. Is that it? <gasps> there's a second floor? Oh, but there's nothing up here. Bro, is that it? Am I done? Is that it? Is that the whole event? 75? <gasps> there's two more parts. Wait, where do I... <gasps> there's another room. <gasps> There's more rooms! Okay, this one needs a lot. This one has a lot. This one goes over. Oh, there's so many seats. Play with cat. Okay, I play with cat. Who is the cat this time? Black and white piebald cat? That's what it's called? Piebald cat? Hello, kitty. Do you like... You like ear pads? Okay, what about this ear pad? You like that one? Okay, good. You like face pad? Okay, no face pad, no face pad, okay. You like chest pad? What about leg pad? No, no legs, okay. Butt pad? Do you enjoy a butt pad? <gasps> and you like tail pad? Okay, okay, okay. So we know. It's just this area. So we pat. We keep patting. Until you are satisfied. Which will be take forever, actually. No face, no face, no face. I'm gonna keep... No, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to pet your face! My bad! Oh, okay, no more. Tail? No ear? <gasps> there we go. Oh, -ho -ho! this is the rumored sacred land that people named the Furball Fortress, and yet it is furnished in such a prosaic manner? Shabby, one might even call it. Surely a few strings woven from the vines of purple agate grapes must be built. Pure silver lamps mounted with the candles made of abyssal sea salt. All the better to light the cat feeding platters with the motifs of the nightborn stars. And yes, statues forged in the image of cat familiars by melting the 
veritable coinage of lost dynasties. Okay, and adorning them with strange pearls and dewdrops from the depths of the fjord. Surely this would make for an amiable choice. Surely you must agree. Do you not, dear familiar? Hmm, you have yet to declare your name as to your princessin. Think on that then, and know that it shall be your utmost honor to be known to her. His name's Dopey, esteemed princessin. Dopey isn't the brightest, and he can't really understand or appreciate your exquisite choice of words. Please show him some clemency, princessin. Hey! No, that's not right. Why does Paimon get like this whenever she sees special? Uh, nothing wrong with that. Let me give it a whirl, too. I, the great cat conjurer, sincerely pay my humble respects. <laughs> As I anticipated, cat conjurers, thou hath once more been brought before our august person by weavings of the threads of fate. Tis a most pleasing reunion. What a title! Looks like Fischl heard about us from Valerina. By your counsel, much thought I have given in late with the inner Oxrite to realize the ingenuities obtained from prior experiences. And I have decided to select the most saccageous and sensible of cat familiars to accompany my eminent person on my sojourns. <coughs> oh! So you're also planning on taking care of the catfish? Well, that's understandable. Most people want to have their own after seeing just so how adorable they are. But Fischl, don't you already own Oz? And the two of you tend to move really fast. Can a cat keep up? Or are you going to have Oz fly while carrying the cat? <laughs> Tis I, the princess in Deva Ertelug, often traverse 3,000 universes. Though such a journey may not be long, having more suitable companions and gaining insight into things are easily overlooked. Naturally, wouldn't hurt. Oz would also like to have a cat familiar to play... <coughs> Ahem. To join forces to guarantee that my mood shall shine brightly as the moonlight every second of the day. Yet, tis a shame that though Oz went through great pains to don a form that sets at most at ease, he could not diminish his majesty fully and could not approach the cat familiars. Whenever dear Oz gets within five paces of a cat familiar, their fur shall inadvertently stand on end and inflate like a bloaty bolt bloaty unmoored. Any closer and terror overtakes them and they flee for the hills. I mean, he's made out of electro. The animal archons devoted and loyal nuns recommended that Oz repose without. And as their advices sound, I graciously ascended. Majesty? Oh. Right. Paimon gets it. You meant that Oz's body has so much electro energy that the second he enters the furball fortress, all the feline's furs get electrified, right? But if that's true, then how will Cat ever travel with you, Fischl? If only there was some material in Tevat that could block the effects of Electro! Then we can make cat clothes out of that material! And then a cat would be able to travel with you in Oz no problem! Meow. Um, those Electro Slimes would be no match once I have donned this... Penelope of War? What the heck does that mean? But now that Paimon thinks about it, Elemental Power is super duper mega strong! If there was a material that could easily resist something as powerful as the elements, that'd be too good to be true. We probably shouldn't stand around daydreaming. Ah, the nativity. Do not jump to judge a cat's familiar talents through the common sense. The semantic resources of the mere mortal wounds struggle to accurately convey their properties. Perhaps somewhere in this world there exists a cat familiar that can dive deep into the depths, endure a fur inferno, and ride upon the wind. Such a special entity would surely have no fear of thunder or lightning. So as long as I'm patient in my search, I shall find it. Forsooth, even if I should seek for a ten years or a hundred, it shall be but a fleeting instant in the Immernachreich. Additionally, the devotion to one's development in life is as important as a 
innate nature one is born with. I see this dopey has immense potential. Perhaps after joining my retinue for a spell, it will become all the more familiar with the power of Electro. By happenstance, I, the Possessin, have disentangled a million myriad of mi millennial affairs, thus allowing myself a tincture of time to spare. Perhaps then it shall not hurt, endeavoring to stay here and familiarize myself with these cat familiars. Particularly, this... Dopey. Meow. <laughs> then Paimon hopes you'll have fun here in the Fur Ball of Fortress, Fischl. <gasps> one more, one more. Alright, is it in here? Is this the last room? Huh? Wait, where's the last room? We're done? What is this? Next day? Uh oh. Boomst. Next day? Bullfruit cute interloper. Go to the. I am here. What do y'all want? I'm already here. Homie. <gasps> oh, you're so cute. Uh, the cat is hissing at me, Miss Rosaria. I'm scared. You should probably give him some space. Get too close, and all that swatting might catch you in the face. Why did that rhyme, Rosaria? Are you a poet now? Oh no, seems like Valerina has run into some more cat-sized trouble. Looks like the shelter has a new stray. There's something almost dignified about him. Hmm, he got that main character energy or something. Honorary Knight! Cat Whisperer! This big cat just barged in here after Snowball! He must have spotted her when she went out for a walk and followed her all the way back here! Easy, easy. No one's going to hurt you here. <gasps> Soft voice Rosaria gives me life. All those evil things, all those bad people who forced you to do whatever it took to survive, they can't find you here. You're safe within these walls. Oh, it's traumatized. You're surrounded by good people now. Their constant hovering might get a little annoying, but it's all for your own good. Just relax. A life of leisure isn't a bad thing, you know. You just have to get used to it. Yeah, this is giving way more of Natasha than it is giving uh, Rosaria. <laughs> oh! Hi there, baby! He, he understood all that? Oh! Looks like it worked. <laughs> Smart cat. Whoa, this cat is way bigger than the others! His coloring looks like fresh squeezed buell fruit juice. And he's wearing a scarf too! Huh? Oh. Looks like there's some sort of design on it. Oh, it's the symbol of the Knights of Avonius! Uh, how did he get that? Whose cat is this? He deserves a name fit for a knight then. Hmm, he is pretty feisty. How about Sir Pouncelot? You really do have a way with cats. He looks way more at ease now. Warrior cats? That was a time and a place. It's Mini Kaya, except he's orange. Paimon thinks you deserve to take the credit this time. Sir Pouncelot seemed to calm down right after everything you said to him. You're getting much better with them, Rosaria. It doesn't matter to me either way. Although, the fact that they're cute doesn't hurt. Let Paimon show you how to put Sir Pouncelot completely at ease. <gasps> he looks so a bit more of dignified. As happy as can be. He looks like our royal. That's so cute. <gasps> Here, kitty. Where's the last kitty? This is the official's room. Are you in here? <gasps> We're gonna make you a room. Okay, okay, okay. That's the name of the cat that was in Leah Village. There was a Sir Pouncel in Chain New Vale. I didn't know. Here you go. You can have some fish. Sir Pouncelot relaxes slightly and lets out a gentle meow. <gasps> oh, you get little cakes and stuff. You want to play? Okay. Do you like ear pads? <gasps> oh, the little fish icons. You like the other ear? <gasps> you do like it. What about face pads? No, no face pads. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Body pad. No, okay, okay. Leg pad. Beatsies. Beatsies, yes. Okay, oh, you're making biscuits. 
Oh, that's so cute. Yes, look at you. You're so cute. Okay, body pat. No body pat. Okay, no body pat. No body pat. Uh, butt pat? <gasps> you enjoy a butt pat? Okay. What about your tail? No, no tail. Okay, okay, okay. No tail. That's fine. Scar pat's definitely a no. Yeah, I was figuring that. Okay, make your biscuits, buddy. Yes, make all your little biscuits. Give you little cat. And then we give you the other ear. And then we do the other hand. Pat, pat, pat. I don't care. I would... I must be... I must be inseparable with these cats. And then we give you butt pats. Yes, good, Katie. Then we give you more ear pats, buddy. More ear pats. More leg pats. More leg pats. Oh, nothing. Okay, butt pats. There we go. <gasps> Bye. Bye, you gonna go? Bye. Who's here? <gasps> no one's here? Do I just sit? Oh, look at us. We're so cute. Not being inseparable with these cats is unacceptable. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> oh he's so cute! Aw, that's a good kitty, Sir Pouncelot. You better be on your best behavior from now on, okay? Oh, uh, Pavin speaking like this is so cute. Now. <laughs> I'm a nosier, sweet, happy little cat. You'll get along with everyone just fine. He's so adorable. I just want to scratch his head and pinch his little cheeks. He does have a certain endearing quality about him. When he's not causing trouble, that is. Huh. I wonder how he got that injury around his eye. The traces of restorative potion indicate that Sir Pouncelot should be in the vicinity. Albedo, do you... Is this your cat? Albedo has a cat? Huh? Oh... It's the Traveler, Paimon, and Sister Rosaria. Uh, and you must be an adventurer. I don't believe we've met. Wait, Koi Dao just shows up out of nowhere for- just for funsies! Why is he here?! When did you- Albedo, when did you get a cat?! It appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. Albedo! It's been such a long time! Since like 2.4, homie! Uh, but are you sure you're in the right place? Not the, are you sure you're in the right place is crazy. I'm assuming the captain of the investigation team is here for some important reason. Yeah, like a cat. C captain He's a captain of the Knights of Favonius? An important officer just showed up without warning. And I don't even have any refreshments or snacks to offer. Valerina is so real for that, honestly. Please, allow me to explain, sir. I assure you, this shelter is operating under a legitimate business license. Not All the... All proper procedures have been followed. Not the, oh my god, they're gonna take my license away kind of way. That's crazy. No, right? He was supposed to show up during the potion event. Why are you here? Why did you get a cat? Assuming Albedo has arrived to investigate her business, Valerina frantically searches for the relevant documents while explaining the purpose of the shelter. Valerina appears to be intimidated by the identity of the visitor, unaware that the investigation team doesn't handle such inspections. You're under arrest There's for cat no crimes. <laughs> I was simply in the area helping my team address a small issue. Namely, the location of this cat right here. When did the Knights of Favonius get a cat? Not too long ago. Interim team feline treatment case number three, Sir Pouncelot, knocked out the weapons officer who was watching over him. Oh! He then fled and disappeared into the city. Homie knocked out someone. Why is this cat... I This is probably forced perspective. Why does this cat look like half the height of Albedo? That's kind of crazy. We knew we had to recover him as fast as possible. The cat belongs to the investigation team and even bears the insignia of the Knights of Favonius. If he were to wreak havoc across the city, well, that would hardly be a welcome result for any party involved. Oh, So he actually belongs to the investigation team? That would explain the Knights of Favonia symbol. You're saying Sir Pouncelot is capable of knocking out a knight? And what's with all those official-sounding titles you added to his name? And 
into a treatment case something or other? Is there something else you're not telling us? This cat's literally Tarabaro, but as a cat. That's exactly what this is. Uh, well, I suppose I should explain. Two months ago, Sir Pouncelot got lost in the wild and accidentally ingested Whopper Flower nectar. Why is it always Whopper Flowers? certain effects that are not entirely understood as of yet. The nectar caused him to triple in size. <gasps> so he's a big boy! Triple? Even regular-sized cats can get pretty bold when they're upset. A cat triple the size? Oh, Paimon bets even a hilly churl wouldn't be enough to scare off a cat like that. So that's what happened. No wonder he was so anxious. For cats, or really any animal that lives in the wild, a larger size doesn't exactly confer many advantages. What it actually does is make their appearance more noticeable and their movements less nimble. Which in turn means living in perpetual danger of exposing themselves to attacks from predators. In other words, it means living in a constant state of fear. Exactly. When Sir Pouncelot stumbled upon our encampment, he looked quite worse for wear. His entire body was riddled with scars, and he appeared exceptionally anxious. No, really, this cat's so big! He's a big boy! Th that's awful! I guess he had a good reason for all that swatting earlier then. If all that had happened to me, I would be afraid of new people and strange animals too. You don't need to worry too much. The problem has already been solved. I administered a restorative potion to eliminate the alchemical effects of the Whopper Flower Nectar and help him return to a normal size. So, you're saying that Whopper Flower Nectar can get big and you have a potion to make it small. Hey, fanfiction writers, I have a new idea for you. Although he still might appear a bit larger than the average cat, his current size, at least, should pose no more threat to his quality of life. While in our care, various knights have been taking turns watching over him. In light of his feisty demeanor, Klee decided to call him Sir Pouncelot. We all thought Aww. it was quite fitting. We even made him that little scarf as a testament to his time among our ranks. So Klee and Paimon have the same brain cell. Whoa! Klee and Paimon were totally on the same wavelength with this one! I'm just Paimon! I'm going to shut up. Minds really do think alike. <laughs> oh. Sir Pouncelot's extreme level of anxiety and caution around people may be a result of residual trauma from the time of his transformation. You could say he was less than friendly towards the weapons and signals officers on our team. Klee wasn't around that much to entertain him either. However, it appears Sir Pouncelot has taken quite the liking to you. The knights on my team would never have imagined that he could warm up to people like this. <laughs> well, they are our dear cat saviors after all. The famed honorary knight and Paimon the Cat Whisperer. No matter how feisty or frightening the cat, after a few minutes with the Traveler and Paimon, they'll be as sweet as can be. If that's the case, then I have a question for you both. Would you be willing to adopt <gasps> Sir Pouncelot? Oh, but can you... Can Sir Pouncelot travel with us? Wait, really? But doesn't he belong to your team? Well, we did take him in, but it was simply out of necessity. We were always planning to find him a permanent home after his condition became more stable. <gasps> we could keep him in the teapot! He'll be happy! The investigation team is no place for a pet. We are a combat unit after all. Any night he got close to would have to go on assignment eventually. It's hardly appropriate to just leave him at camp, and bringing him on our missions would only frighten him further. All good points. He's been through quite the ordeal already. For a creature like that, it's best to keep him away from potential triggers. That way he can slowly recover in peace. Hmm... We could set up a nice cozy little home for him in the Serenity Pot. It has everything he could want, and most importantly, no monsters. As long as he gets along with Tarumaru and the other doggy that's in our teapot, I think we'll be fine. Great, welcome to the family, Sir Pouncelot! Thank you so much, Albedo! Oh, no need to thank me. 
If you find yourselves with some time on your hands, maybe you can bring him by the encampment sometime. I'm sure my fellow knights would love a chance to see his calmer side. That, that was so touching! I can't believe I got to witness such a special moment! <laughs> I do believe this counts as the Furball Fortress's first successful adoption! Yay! Hey, my veil is not a handkerchief. Oh my god. It appears you enjoy interacting with small animals, Sister Rosaria. I must admit, I find that a bit surprising. Paimon can also sense that you're an animal lover, Rosaria. You definitely have a way with cats. You just haven't realized it yet. After all, it's not a side of you that comes out very often. Snowball warmed up to you right from the start. Mm -hmm. And you were the one that helped Sir Pounce a lot calm down back there. Small animals, Albedo, that cat is half your size. I mean, he will be small later. Oh, uh, I didn't really do anything, though. I was just there. Rosaria has cat energy. And you know what? It, it matches her. So she's good with cats. Ah... I've got it. What was that? I've learned so Jump many in. useful okay. tips from our dear cat saviors recently. I've decided to extend the shelter's trial period for a bit in order to go over what I've learned. With some effort, I hope I can be a cat whisperer too one day. For now, though, I'll settle for cat whisperer in training. <laughs> when I open for good, oh my god! What do you say we run the shelter together, Miss Rosaria? With the two of us. We could rescue what is this effect? I, this hurts my eyes, I'm not gonna lie. But also, Valerina Rosaria ship? Hmm, the sister and the Whisperer working together. Almost sounds like it was meant to be. <laughs> New ship? Oh, well, this errand hasn't proved to be too troublesome. It's light on work and stress. I suppose I wouldn't be opposed to your suggestion. <gasps> They're gonna work together? I don't know much about rescuing stray animals, but this seems to be quite the milestone. Allow me to offer my congratulations. If my fellow knights run into any strays, I'll be sure to tell them to send them your way. Rosarina, Rosarina, I like that. That's cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really can't thank you all enough for your support. Don't worry, there's a generous reward in store for each and every one of you. Oh? Okay. The trial phase of the Furball Fortress could not have been more successful. When we open for good, you all simply must come to the opening ceremony. There's we'll an cut opening the ceremony? Together. Now that's what Paimon calls a successful commission. Rewarding in more ways than one. Mora, a sense of accomplishment, and of course, our special friend Sir Pamsalot! Talk about a win, win, win! Paimon can't wait for the Furball Fortress to open for good! Oh! <gasps> oh, we got him! He's so cute! He's so cute! Wait, can I check? It's in teapot, right? Teapot items is this one. <gasps> Sir Pounce a lot! A giant orange cat wearing a scarf and emblazoned with the Knights of Favonia Signia. It was once a very fierce creature due to having long been subject to stimulating encounters with wild creatures, but after much comforting from you and Paimon, it has become an obedient kitty once more. Its scarf was a gift from the investigation team, but past experience demonstrated that it could not be the interim team feline indefinitely. As such, Albedo has suggested that you and Paimon take care of it, which is just fine by Paimon. After arriving in the realm within, Sir Pouncelot has stepped out of its shadow of the past, growing used to this leisurely lifestyle. Oh, it's so cute! I love it. I love it so much. <gasps> Oz is all the way out here! Oz, buddy! Hey! Buddy! Okay, shoo. Would you mind? Shoo! Excuse me. Oh, Lynette. Girly Pop drowned. Oz! <laughs> Buddy! Hello? It is rare to have such a leisure time. I wonder if mine Fräulein is also enjoying herself. Oz seems to be resting. Best not to disturb him. Oh, he's too far away because he can't 